kind of yeah. fun. So anyway. Yeah. Mm. You're live. I think uh, I'm going to have some yeah. uh, edamame. Edamame. And some ooh, sushi. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome oh, hi, to, hi. Oh, Welcome hi. to... <laughs> we're just, you know... Just chilling out here. what we do normally. We're at Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Katrina Balfe. And I'm Sam Hewitt. <laughs> we're from Outlander. We are. And we're here with Facebook and with Comcast Xfinity. And uh, we have some of the Comcast Xfinity Outlander fans who've asked us some questions. <sighs> Um, so yeah, we want to uh, we want to answer some of your questions here that you've sent in. <laughs> so shall we get so to So bear it? with us. Shall we? All right. First question: Who or what inspired you both to be actors? <laughs> that was Donna Rust class. Donna Rust. That. Donna Rust class. Donna Rust class. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to be an actor? Oh, I don't know. My my dad. Uh, even though he was a police guard a sergeant, uh, he used to do comedy skits, so that partly is it. But I used to also watch lots of um, black and white 40s films because I lived in Ireland and that was all we got during the day. I had a black so, and white um, TV that you, did you? you tune in, you know, like you have to turn the <laughs> dial and it would warm up and it would warm up. And go, Ooh. Would the picture expand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I left home, my mum finally got a colour television. I thought that was very unfair. Well, my parents got DVD players after I left home. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so they could watch you? Well, no, they repeatedly. don't. Um, all right, well, yeah, that was I very... I that answers uh, your question, yeah. Donna. <laughs> um, Nancy Renshaw asks... Hi, Nancy. <clears throat> Do you find yourselves wanting to emulate your characters? Is it hard to return to real life after the intensity of Outlander? P.S. Your show is so beautifully done, and oh. I admire your commitment to your work. My favourite show ever. Thank Yay, you. Penner on our way to her. Uh, what um, was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourselves wanting to emulate your characters? No. You, you don't want to run wanna, around with a sword? I don't and... want to be ginger. <laughs> <laughs> and wear a kilt all the time. But... Um, I mean, I think there are many things that we admire in our characters, mm -hmm. and, and I guess you always have to find something in the character of yourself and vice versa, but... Um, yeah. I think, well, I think, you know, our, our characters both have qualities that, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think I take something... I like to be <laughs> outspoken like Claire. I know a quality that you possess that Claire doesn't. What's that? <laughs> She can play the accordion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Would you like to see it? <laughs> now give us the big thumbs up if you do. One of these. No. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, look what I've got. <laughs> oh, let me play the Musical interlude. Go Not on. yet. I'll oh. tell you what, if we get a bunch of likes, oh. <laughs> then we Boom. can do that. Boom. <laughs> All right, go on, next question. I'll juggle if you play the music. <laughs> you just keep doing panto. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, it's been a pantomime this whole week. <laughs> okay, Christy Crawford asks, Katrina and Sam, what do you prepare for, what do you do to prepare for the, I've got to learn to read before I go back to work. <laughs> what do you do to prepare for the physical demands of the job? Claire and Jamie always seem to be getting beat up one way or another. It's a very good, good point, Christy. That's true. What um, do you do to prepare for the physical demands of the job? <laughs> I, um, How many chips did you eat in the room next door? <laughs> Look, <clears throat> potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes are, are a, a healthy British vegetable. Potato. And they are full of vitamins and iron and they make me strong. So they if do? they come in the fried format in a bag with salt and vinegar on them, that's a healthy snack. I believe it was Himalayan salt. <laughs> it was Himalayan pink salt yeah. and apple cider vinegar. Thank you very much, Facebook, with your fancy snacks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> wait, wait, what do you do? We all know what Sam We does. know. I... A lot of... <laughs> a lot the, of... In the mirror. That. And a lot of that. <laughs> yes, Senia Rodriguez asks, what's been the most exciting episode to film? Ooh. Hmm. 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 Um, um, we, uh, I mean, I, I think we you know we've said before, but I think South Africa has been really good fun this season. Yeah. Um, so maybe third, 
parts of 13. Ooh, yeah, 13 parts of 13 is really have been fun. very exciting. Um, we had to do things we don't normally do. True. You got injured. Uh, well, someone, let's just say if you um, needed rescuing in a certain place and you, there was a lot of liquid around, I wouldn't go after this what guy. What a bar? A <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, but. okay. Oh. Well, Meow yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's no David Hasselhoff. You, have you ever seen that film? He's no David Hasselhoff. seen that film Baywatch, yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah, no. 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 Oh. Oh. Brandy Hubble Easter. Oh. Brandy. That's not... But it sounds like... <laughs> Brandy Bubble Teaster. Uh, what has been the most challenging part of becoming Claire and Jamie in the awesome Outlander series? What has been the most challenging part of becoming Claire and Jamie in the awesome um, <clears throat> I think the most challenging part has been spending months and months on end wearing a corset. With me. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when I really need to breathe deeply because I'm <laughs> around someone like that. Ow! What's up? Quick medic. My, my neck just <laughs> what? You weren't physically prepared for this. Are you all right? Yeah. Medic, can someone send help, please? We'll just carry on. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Quick answer. Okay. Um, uh, Tara Morocco Hewson, uh, what parts of your characters do you see in yourselves? Which parts are completely different? You both do an incredible job of making the characters so believable. Thank you, Tara. Uh, what parts of our characters do you see in ourselves? Um, uh, and what parts are different? Um... I mean, <laughs> well, all right. I'll answer for you. Yeah, okay. I'll answer for you. Um, well, you have to do the different part, but I, I think he's similar to Jamie in you are pretty much a man of your word. I would imagine. I would say mm. you're a man of your word. Mm. Um, I'm just going through these to find really interesting ones. <laughs> um, and you um. are. He's very kind. Oh. And yeah, that's very kind. Thank you. I would say that. <laughs> Be nice. Claire has <laughs> better neck muscles. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, is very similar to Claire in that she is strong-willed. She is that is not just another way of saying passionate. stubborn? <laughs> she's passionate. <laughs> she's talented. Um, and yeah, you can kind of do pretty much everything Claire does. I mean, like. I, I, I do an amazing kidney surgery. <laughs> That's anyone, true. anyone That's not true. feeling very well, come on over. Ruth Ayers <laughs> says, you're both trained actors. Are we going to play the accordion now? No, I was oh, looking to see if there was maybe, you know. What do you need? I could, yeah. Go on. We're both trained actors and skilled musicians. We are. What have you learned from each other about your craft? <laughs> 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 what have you learned? <laughs> I'm going to be in pantomime soon. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Um, I have learned that from Sam. Hmm. Sam actually has a, you know, he. <laughs> 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 um, Sam is. <laughs> Sam yes. will always try. Uh, he's. He's very open to trying anything, and I think that that's a really good quality. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm a little bit more like, nah, that won't work. Um, but he's always the first to be like, let's give it a go and we'll see. And I think that that's a great quality. Oh. I think I'm. I think your quality is knowing when to say no. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, she's got great taste, as has been portrayed here today on Facebook Live. <laughs> Um, any more? Yeah, let's hope so. Are we still here? Okay. Um, <clears throat> they've all gone home. Um, Carol Sue Sorber asks... If you've got any questions, you can also ask, obviously, on the, the your Facebook. And we'll, a live, you know, it's live. Not on their Facebook. On your on, on the Facebook. On the Outlander on the, Facebook. On the, the, the Facebook. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> obviously, I understand how this works, but if you, you Facebook it, you could Facebook us. Oh... Uh. Right, Sam and Katrina. Okay. I know what scene from the book I'm most eager to see. Yeah. This something called the print shop, I don't know. But what so, scene from season three are you most proud of or eager for fans to see? Uh, 
season three. Wow. There's so many. I, um, that's really tough. There's so many moments, aren't there? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I mean, I just think we start off in a, in a great place at the Battle of Culloden. We've talked about it for two seasons, so it's about time we actually showed it. Um, so I think it's a very strong start to the season. And I just think every episode has like something in it. Yeah. Which is incredible. Uh, I love your scene with Frank. Um, I talked about it the other day. I think you and uh, Tobias are incredible. And uh, there's some really good stuff there. Thank you. Mm. Well, I'm I'm very excited for everyone to see you in episode one, especially. I think it's very beautiful work you've done. No, no it's not that, not, one. that one. not that one. It's not that one. Where's the heart? Yay! Oh, really hit myself in the face. Um, okay. Lindsay Hartlett asks, after everything is filmed and edited, do you view the episodes before they are released and or do you watch them as they come out on stars? What is it like to see yourselves on screen? Oh, uh, we I didn't see we didn't see uh, any of this until we just went to Comic-Con. I mean, maybe a couple of days yeah, before. Yeah, I think when they when they gave it to the journalists, they gave it to us um, and it's you have to watch it before you do press cuz usually it's almost a year since you filmed it. So you need to remember what it is that yeah. you did. Yeah. Um, so we always watch it before we do press. But it's uh, it's strange watching yourself. I never get used to it, really. Yeah. And I, I think I said a story about I was out in the airplane flying to Comic-Con uh, and I saw a woman watching season one and I was kind of watching over her shoulder going, it just feels like such a long time ago or even not even me. Did she find it weird that there was some strange just, head just, just on her shoulder? Just <laughs> like looking over. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Oh, got some questions. Oh, we got some questions. Oh, put that one there. Here. Um. Uh, hi, Tara says, hi from British Columbia. Hi, how are you, British Columbia? I've been to BC. It's beautiful. Hi, BC. Um, oh... Yeah. Oh wow. God, there's there's loads here. Do you think hope there'll be seasons five, six, nine? Are we going to jump seven and eight? No, we're not going to do eight. We won't do seven. No. Eight. Nothing really happens in those. Uh, um, Mexico loves you. We love you. Can I watch stars from Amazon Prime in Mexico? I do not know. I don't know. Can you watch um, stars? Can they? they no. They mm, don't know that's, either. That's not a. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Uh, um, hello from the Scottish borders. Hi. Uh, hello Scotland. Uh, Spots. Cat and Sam, how did it feel becoming parents? Who did you pull from your parental char characteristics? There's so many here. Are we going to answer any of them? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, how little sleep have you had this week? Punch drunk. <laughs> that's, I think that's a bit of a comment on how well this Q&A is going. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not, not, not an awful lot. Um, um, uh, is it difficult to work with an actor, get close to him or her, knowing that char their character will be killed off soon? I haven't told you something, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what, what? This what, season, what uh, there's some changes going to happen. <laughs> 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 some rewrites. Uh, no, I think um, in terms of actors coming in for a short amount of time, sometimes it's really nice because they bring news from the outside world and um, <laughs> there's a world out there. There's a world out there, and they always bring a good energy in. Um, you know, I think it's always it's always fun. Like Francis Delatour, Dominique Pignon last season, or some great people this season. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've exhausted. No, no, they keep. Oh, whoa, did you? Uh, is what, Chip, what's you? happening? What's happening? <laughs> he needs a reboot. Hold on. Uh, uh, oh, thank. Oh, that's better. Yes. Um, you portray your characters so well. Glad to know you enjoy the quality of person Oh, well, thank you, Mary Jane. That's very sweet. Um, uh, in being free in your attire, how difficult is it to convert back to modern clothing? That's for you. Oh, that's for me. Um, it's it's very liberating to be able to wear trousers. Um, and 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 modern clothing, but um, yes, it's it's nice to play Jamie Fraser and see him in a kilt again. I think we're nearing the end <laughs> of this, this. We do apologise. We are sorry that you had that. Um, can we can we play them out? Maybe. Should we play them out? Let's play you out. We'll play that traditional uh, traditional song, the Sky Boat song from Outlander. Here we go. Okay. Join yeah, in. With, join in with the. Uh, <laughs> 